What's up everyone, Jace Two Cents here, and I figured the best way to end the year is actually start my personal build right here. This is my personal build. This is semi-replacing Skunkworks. Skunkworks is gonna come back to the studio. A lot of you guys said you missed it. I hear you, we're gonna do that. We are gonna be bringing it back to the studio here. But even though we've kind of done a little bit of a video sort of showing off the chassis I'm using here, which is the Inwind D-Frame 2.0, I was showing you how I kind of plan out my loops with this. And uh, yeah, that, so that was sort of a teaser as to what's to come, but now we've got all the parts that we need. Well, about 95% of the parts that we need. So we're gonna start building this and we're gonna do like we always do. We're gonna talk about the parts and uh, yeah, we're gonna get this year ended right so that hopefully we can get 2018 started on the right foot. The Sennheiser HD 58X Jubilee headphones offer everything audio enthusiasts desire, continuing from a long line of innovation. Weighing in at just 260 grams, gold-plated connector, 1.8 meter detachable cord, and full rich sound make the Sennheiser HD 58X headphones for Mass Drop the obvious choice for those who are serious about sound. Sign up for Mass Drop is always free, so take advantage of this deal by heading to Mass Drop using the link in the description below. So like I mentioned in the intro, this is the Inwin D-Frame 2.0. The D-Frame originally came out in like 2012 or somewhere around there, like way back in the day. They've made quite a few changes to it. Obviously this is the 2.0. You can see the top part comes off. It's off right now. We stored it because we don't want to damage it while this is being built. I I've always liked the idea of open air chassis. And when I saw this tubular frame, I had to have it because of what I just, I'm into automotive and it looks like a roll cage to me. Motherboard is an Asus X299 Rampage 6 Extreme because it just doesn't get much more extreme than that. Running a 7900X memory, we've got 32 gigs of the Dominator Platinum Blackout Special Edition. So it's black tops with LEDs built into here. It's sort of a polished gunmetal kind of a look on here. And then of course we've got the black heat spreaders on there which look obviously really nice. We, I didn't want to go with silver or, or chrome or any of that. I wanted this to be as much like black and green as possible. Cooling of the CPU and the motherboard, of course, we have got a Rampage 6 monoblock, which is one of the reasons why I went with this motherboard because it has monoblock available. So it's a single block that's gonna cover both CPU and VRM, which can get pretty hot when you overclock on X299. This is the EKFC X3 terminal. It's basically a block that attaches to the graphics cards when you water cool them or use EK water blocks, which makes it so you don't have to use tubes in between the GPUs. I've never used one in the past. I was thinking about using one this time. This is actually a three-way block. It's designed for three cards. Obviously I have two, but they do have a block off plate that is an add-on piece that they sent me with this. Haven't decided if I'm going to use it yet. We'll see. Uh, I think it just depends on what the aesthetics end up looking like. Of course, we have two NVIDIA GTX Titan XPs. These are the little P's. So it's got the 3840 CUDA cores. No, not going with Volta. Even if explicit SLI worked, I would not have done it because there's no point. That'd be $6,000 worth of GPUs. Two terabytes worth of Toshiba OCZ NVMe SSDs. We're going with only NVMe on this. No SATA drives at all. No big hard drives or any of that. And we're gonna be keeping them cool with a couple of EK NVMe heat spreaders. So EK water block, of course, for the GPUs. These are the Founders Edition blocks. So it's a single block that works with any of the Founders Edition cards, GTX 1060 and up. So it's pretty neat because if I decided later on to tear this whole system apart, which I'm not doing with Skunk Works, but whatever. If I decided to tear this whole system apart, I could use these on another Founders Edition Pascal block or card. So that's pretty neat. And then of course we've got the Titan X branded uh, backplates for those. Now here's the part where it, I heard you, I heard you guys. In my last video, I talked about mounting the reservoir and how it didn't fit in certain places. And I, I don't, don't think in the history of my channel, I've ever received more messages and comments and people telling me to check out Singularity PCs. I'm well aware who Daniel is. I'm well aware of what he does. We'd even talked prior to the videos, but now we have a situation where using their stuff is perfect. So this right here is the Proteum tube reservoir. This is a, so basically we've got a, a, a set. This is the first time I've actually taken a look in person of, of anything that's uh, Daniel's work. And I'm telling you right now, you will be hard pressed to find any higher quality of build out there. I mean, even down to the reservoir and the build quality, the polish of the acrylic. I, Nick, getting close on that because I don't think you're gonna find a better build quality when it comes to acrylic work out there at all. But anyway, we'll be taking that apart. We'll be using the uh, Proteum D5 top, 
which is also an acrylic. It's a see-through. They do also have them in black so that they can be blacked out like everything else. But I think the acrylic is gonna look cool because we will be using, haven't decided on the fluid yet. You guys notice there's no fluid here. I haven't decided if I'm gonna go with view or if I just wanna go with some opaque or even some see-through fluid, but whatever. Here is the pump top. I, I don't know if they're, if they're flame polishing this or what. I'm gonna have to assume yes, because this is just too damn perfect. Look at that. I mean, that is, man, I know I, I sound like I'm fangirling here, but anyway. He also sent over a whole bunch of different brackets and different colors and adapters and stuff. Most of it's off camera. He sent a ton of stuff because he saw that video and he was like, no matter what, you're gonna be able to find a way to mount this where it fits. You're gonna be happy. And then of course, we've got our lighting, which is gonna be supplied by Cable Mod. We've got our lighting kit here. These are the RGB UV. So they can do both UV light and RGB. You can actually see it's thicker than normal RGB simply because it has multiple rows of LEDs. So we can do color or we can do UV. It's a single strip that will handle everything you want with your PC in terms of color. So no longer do you have to decide like RGB or UV. And I might do UV in this. I've been thinking about doing UV. So that's perfect. And then of course we have our revolver fittings here from Primo Chill. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do black or green to match this hardware. I don't wanna overdo the green, especially since we're probably gonna do green fluid. Anyway, it's time to shut up and do some building.
Well, as it usually goes when I do my personal builds, I didn't get as far as I wanted to on this day. I was kind of hoping to get fittings and start the bends, but I got the bends. But anyway, no, we got far enough. We got our blocks on our GTX Titan XPs, and you might notice I actually kept the Nvidia backplates on these instead of putting on the usual backplate I get from EK Water Blocks. Uh, I, I think I like the way this looks a little better. I don't, I don't know what it is. I, I, I'm glad I left these on, and I think it gives a good aesthetic to the system. As you can see, I've got both of my 360 rads on here, and I did indeed get a second 360 bracket from Inwin, which a lot of you guys recommended that I do, and I'm glad that I did, because it just makes it mounting a whole lot easier. I was able to put the fans underneath right here, uh, which means I have more space on top. You can see the rads. The fans are also, uh, they're the ML120 RGBs from Corsair. Not the new light loops, I don't have any of those, but I had, I had six of the ML120, so that'll work. It's gonna give us some underglow even, right? Automotive underglow, whatever. I would never run underglow in my real car, in my actual car, but I will do this in here, no problem. And I am proudly representing the Singularity Computers uh, logo now on this. This is by far the highest quality piece of water cooling tech that I have touched in all of my water cooling years that I've been doing this. And these guys have been doing it for a lot longer than me. The build quality, the fitment, the adjustability, absolutely could not be any happier the way that this turned out. So obviously the next thing to do now is all of the tubing and the bending. Now the wiring on this is gonna be interesting. So I'm gonna be going with cable mod for the wiring on this. I'm gonna be actually showing you guys another video how I'm gonna set my custom cables up. We're gonna order them on the, actually in the video, and then we'll take a look at them when they arrive. There'll be custom links and all of that stuff. But what's gonna be interesting here is hiding wires on this is gonna be a pain in the ass. What I'm probably gonna end up doing though is building a cover for the back of the motherboard so that I can just have the mess of wires under a cover. And then I'll probably make one for the front side of where the hard drives would have gone as well. Something else I think looks really awesome in here is the Dim.2 with the EK Water Blocks heat sinks on there. I had to kind of jimmy rig that up though because these NVMEs actually have chips on the back side as well. And the, the heat sinks that they sent me are designed for chips or M NVMe drives that only have chips on one side. So it wouldn't fit with their little back plate and clips that are supposed to go on there because it just clips on there. So I had to kind of come up with my own thing, but I think it's fine. We'll test all that obviously. The nice thing is the Dim.2 makes it super easy to take them out and work on it, which is exactly why I didn't use the motherboard M.2 mounting locations because obviously it's gonna be all rigid water cooled, which means it's going to be like, a lot of work to get to an M.2 drive that's underneath the cover on the motherboard. So since we're dealing with water cooling, Dim.2 was the obvious choice. Again, in terms of parts upgrades, it's, 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 it's a lateral move on the CPU, a little bit higher frequency because it's 7900X versus 6950X. And then we've got two Titan X little P's versus my Titan X Pascals, which are in Skunk Works now. So these each have 3,840 CUDA cores, doesn't really matter. This is just more about being able to keep Skunk Works together and still have an awesome build that makes me excited to go and look at it at home. But now I'm running into the same problem again, Nick, where I'm building something that's so pretty, I want, I, I, I want to display it and I don't want to use it. And I want to tuck it away in the office, but. I'll use it for you. You'll use it? What you need to do is you need to start coming over and forcing me to play some games. Oh, I can do that. You used to do that all the, all the time and now you don't do that anymore. Oh. I think it's cause you spend all day with me. By the end of the day, you're just like, I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Maybe if you want to get any sim rig more. I'm a sim rig, but this isn't hooked up to the sim rig. We'll make it happen. Also to honorable mention to uh, performance-pcs.com. They helped me out in a pinch as they always do because I'm always short something. I needed a few fittings and stuff. They stepped up and they are sending that to me. So guys, all the water cooling stuff that you see here is available at performance-pcs.com. Not sure if Singularity parts are available there yet. I think they are, but Go and check it out, guys. I'll put a link down below. I'm gonna go. Help me, help me with a name. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in part 2.685, I don't know.